Hey, it's Steve from the old Yorkshire Geek, and I'm sure the question on everybody's lips is, was John Wayne's last movie really Star Wars? Uh, the answer is no, obviously not, but um, <laughs> uh, I found this article from Looper, which has caught my eye, uh, so I thought we'd have a look at it. So, uh, But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe, and share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you subscribed already. Explore the description for various links for merch, my Patreon page, my books, uh, and other stuff. <coughs> or you can become a member of the, the YouTube channel, and then you get uh, perks like early access videos and exclusive videos and stuff like that, and uh, member exclusive, what do you call them? Emojis. <laughs> There's a couple of them. What else? And all that stuff. Uh, right, so, um, uh, oh, and drop us a super thanks and stuff like that. We'll, we'll help keep the lights on. Right, so, let's have a look at this article. As I said, it's from Looper. So, we'll delve into it. There it is. Was John Wayne's movie, last movie, really Star Wars? Asks Michael John Petty, and there's the Duke himself. Right, so, there will never be a Hollywood movie star quite like John Wayne again. The Duke was the face of the Western genre for nearly 40 years, and though he played parts in other crime dramas, romances, war pictures, and even musicals, he was always America's favourite cowboy first and foremost. His tough cadence, distinct vocals, and all-around heroic image made the actor an idol for many in the mid-20th century. Uh, but if you've been around the internet long enough, you've probably heard a rumour about Wayne crossing over from horse operas to space westerns in his final years. Yes, John Wayne is actually featured in one of the greatest science fiction films of all time, and most audiences didn't even know it. I think I'd heard about this before, but I forgot all about it till now, so... Anyway... We will continue. This wasn't just any space western that the Duke is said to have appeared in for his final performance. It's the original Star Wars itself. Not a new hope, just Star Wars. Uh, though the legendary actor's final few pictures were westerns, it's true that the Duke cameos as a certain character in George Lucas's original 1977 space opera. Though not in the way... Uh, but they've said not the in way proofreading thing of the past. Proofreading is about as good as my reading skills. <laughs> Though not in the way you'll likely expect, but to better understand John Wayne's work in Star Wars, we ought to take a look back at the end of his career and see how this is even possible. And there he is again. Uh, after being featured in countless Hollywood pictures since the 1920s, it wasn't until 1970 that the Duke won his first Oscar for his work as Rooster Cogburn uh, in True Grit. Uh, great film, by the way. One of the best films John Wayne ever made. Yes, it was really good. Uh, the film was received with universal acclaim and ushered the Western star into the final leg of his career. In the early 1970s, Wayne starred in iconic Westerns such as Chisholm, Big Jake, The Cowboys and Cahill, US Marshal. He made his first traditional sequel in 1975 with penultimate feature Rooster Cogburn. Uh, reprising his true grit role and played his last starring role as J.B. Bucks in The Shootist the following year. But the Duke had some off-screen health troubles that plagued him into the 70s. In 1964, Wayne was first diagnosed with lung cancer. Due to his history as a smoker, his left lung, along with multiple ribs, had to be removed. To which he replied, I, l I, can't, do I can't do the impression. <laughs> I licked the big C via CR magazine. Unfortunately, that wasn't the end of the Duke's health struggles. About a decade later, two years after the shootist, he went under the knife for open heart surgery in order to replace a valve. The next January, he learned that his battle with cancer wasn't through. It was discovered that Wayne had an advanced stage of stomach cancer, one that would ultimately prove fatal. After one final public appearance at the Academy Awards that April, John Wayne died on June 11, 1979, due to complications from cancer. Two days before his death, Wayne's son Patrick asked his father if he wanted to call a priest to his bedside. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, the Western Star replied via Our Sunday Visitor. It wasn't long before Wayne was baptised into the church and received his last rites. 
But what about John Wayne's last picture, The Shootist? Is that not his final performance? Well, technically it is, as Wayne's last starring role and his swan song to the Western, the Duke played J.B. Books in this 1976 picture, an aged gunfighter with one last adventure in him. Heavily inspired by the Gregory Peck film The Gunfighter, a film Wayne initially was slated to star in, Wayne's final gunslinger had a medical secret of his own. He too was dying of terminal cancer. The shootist feels somewhat prophetic in hindsight. It's hard to tell if Wayne knew about his condition while making the picture, but some sources note that he wasn't surprised when he discovered his diagnosis. Star Wars came out nearly an entire year after the shootist first hit theatres, though Wayne wasn't in the top billing. In fact, John Wayne isn't credited for his contributions to Star Wars at all, probably because he didn't even know he was featured in it in the first place. By the time Star Wars came out, Wayne had retired and left the movie business behind in the final years before his death. It wasn't until 2007 that fans ever discovered the truth that John Wayne's final on-screen role wasn't in the shootist at all. Right, so yes, there's a clue <laughs> as to who John Wayne played. I'm sure he'd be thrilled. I mean, he was still alive at the time, wasn't he? So, maybe, you know, did somebody tell him? Did, did George Lucas tell him? I don't know, but I'm sure he thought, oh, great. Anyway, yes, John Wayne really is in Star Wars, but only in a vocal capacity. You see, according to original Star Wars saga sound designer Ben Burt, the unique buzzing sound that the character Garindan Ez Zavor, best known as Long Snoot by fans, I think he just looks like a dick with glasses on. <laughs> Sorry for being crude, but he just does. Uh, and it went wank, 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 made that sort of noise, didn't it? makes in the original 1977 film is actually warped dialogue from one of the Duke's older films. Quote, and I was wondering back a few months ago how I did it, because I keep notes and tapes, and I discovered it was an electronic buzzing which had come off of my synthesizer that was triggered by a human voice, Bert revealed in the official Star Wars blog in 2007, and I listened to it and realised it was John Wayne. Garindan was the Imperial spy sent to watch Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, uh, who's left social media, by the way. Han Solo, Harrison Ford, who doesn't care. And Ben Kenobi, Alec Guinness, who hated Star Wars, but it made him more money than all of his other films combined. But anyway, on Tatooine, in the original film, the character is the one responsible for sending an array of stormtroopers to catch them just before the Millennium Falcon takes off. Turns out... Some old John Wayne dialogue that 20th Century Fox had held on to was at the heart of Garindan's speech. The buzzing was triggered by some dialogue like, All right, what are you doing in this town? Or something like that, Bert revealed. Of course, this same audio would be repurposed and used again for video games such as Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and Lego Star Wars, the complete saga, decades later. <laughs> While John Wayne never physically appeared in Star Wars, his famous vocals were responsible for bringing one of the film's most distinct-looking characters to life. But strangely, this isn't Wayne's only connection to the Star Wars franchise. The Duke's grandson, Brendan Wayne, oh, I forgot about that, is the primary actor who plays Din Djarin, voiced by Pedro Pascal in the Mandalorian series, itself a space western, and has gone on to play Lieutenant Lander in Ahsoka. So there we go. Uh, I'm sure John Wayne would be thrilled that um, his voice was used, because he can't say it was his last role, uh, because he has appeared in other films since. You know, they've used his image and his voice and stuff in other films, haven't they? Notably, this is just off the top of my head, because uh, I can't think of any others, because I'm an idiot. He was in the home video release, uh, the initial home video release, so I suppose VHS, I suppose, of uh, Gremlins 2. You remember the bit in the middle of the film where... In the theatrical version, and I think it's the version now that like, streams or the, the DVD version or Blu-ray or whatever, um, it's Hulk Hogan that appears and it's in the movie theatre when the gremlins take over the film uh, and he tells him, you know, Hulk Hogan tells me, you know, put that, put that film right, brother, and all that stuff. But in the home video release version, they actually appeared in a western uh, and John Wayne were there, but I think it was somebody else doing his voice. Uh, and he tells the gremlins to... Well, it must have been because it came out in, what, in 1990 or something like that. Didn't it? Long after his death. And he tells the gremlins to put the film right. So it wasn't Hulk Hogan in the original VHS release. Bunny rabbit! Oh, it's fine. I'm a giveable. <laughs>
Rustlers, hold it. No. Get the hell off my spread. Now, go on back to your own movie. Hey, I bet that was a... Say, do you think that... Hey, could that have been a... Kremlin? Them. I don't need varmints on my ranch, and you folks don't need them in your TV sets. Let's start that movie up again. But his face was in it, and I'm sure he's appeared in lots of other stuff, so you can't say that Star Wars was his last film. Um, so, And I'm sure he'd have been thrilled that um, if it was, not that it is, but if it was, his last role would have been an alien with a knob for the face going whack, 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 whack. <laughs> oh, dear. I just found it interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, but I just did. Uh, I know it's not exactly news, but it caught my eye. So I just thought I'd share it with the universe. <laughs> right, so there we go. Uh, it's non-news, in fact. In fact, why, if, you, if you've watched it this far, thank you. Um, but haven't you got something better to do? <laughs> I know I have. Oh dear. Right, so we'll leave it there. Uh, so, um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Although I don't know why you'd want to after this pathetic video. But anyway, uh, and share. Again, don't know why. But do it! And drop a comment telling me how rubbish I am. Uh, and all that stuff. And explore the link. Uh, the link's in the description for stuff and and all that jazz right so anyway so we'll leave it there <laughs> thanks for watching wherever you are look after each other and until next time i'll see there and yes i'm doing a thumbs up even though you can't see me